Today we're gonna do the 3200 films because that's the only ones that I have two of. And this tank is a special mechanism that holds the film in an orientation that when I add the chemicals to it, it evenly distributes the film. So as an example, your film would go in here, you use this reel to take it up, and then imagine you see all the like white lines and stuff in here, that's where the film would be. And then you pop two of them on this uh, hole, you put it in the special tank, and once you cap it off like this, this is now light safe. And when you add the chemicals in like we will do today, and simply just this is a special uh, water tight seal, you can do the agitations, which are a special movement that coat the, the different kind of chemicals that we're gonna put on the film, uh, evenly on the film. And then after that, we're gonna get strips of negatives. I think some of you have seen them before, like these. And all of these are, like Mr. Herman got them cut into four pieces each. And then you either feed these into a scanner or use an enlarger, which is a machine that takes this picture and it's another lens. It blows up the image and puts it on like a piece of paper. And like we talked about before, that's the picture that Mr. Herman made. Uh, and when, what you end up with is you'll have either like a contact sheet like this with little baby pictures, or you can individually make these larger. So inside of the film, imagine like this strip, a very long version of it just wrapped up and coiled up this little bit. So the first step that we need to do is Although you're obviously not going to be able to see what I'm doing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my hand and break this film canister open, take out the film, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to lead it onto this little guy, and once that gets on, uh, that's one done, and then the second one is done, and then I'll be able to just do this by touch after a certain amount of, you know, repeating this process, you can kind of get a hang of it. These are two arm sleeves. It's like imagine wearing a, a undershirt like the other way around. And there's like special uh, seal that prevents light from getting in. So I'm going to take off jacket. And you want to have like as much close uh, contact with this around your arm so that no light can seep through. So um, the first thing I'm going to do, and this is always a very, very uh, challenging experience. Although when you get the hang of it, it you feel safe. It's always risky because if I forget to zip this up all the way, or if this is closed and like, I don't know, like imagine like you drop a pin on this and there's like a tiny microscopic little hole, this all the film will get destroyed. I'm putting the reels in a, a specific orientation that I know where they are later. And the thing is, if you forget to put something in the changing bag and you zip it up and you open the film, you, you can't like, you can't do anything. You just have to um, kind of hope for the best. So let's hope I'm not forgetting anything. I got the two reels. I have the special uh, tube. I got the funnel portion. I have the actual um, actual tank. And this is a other cap. The two rolls of film and a scissors. I don't know if some of you saw this, but when I was loading the film, there's like a little small portion that goes inside of the camera. I got to cut that off and um, when I wrap, when I start loading the film onto the actual reel, there's another piece at the back that I have to cut off. Huh? So you're going to cut, I'm not cutting. You're going to seal that up and then you're going to use your hands and do it yeah. by touch. Yeah. So basically, um, at the end, like when this is all done, like I'll, you can, I'll leave like whatever's left over and then you guys can kind of play around with it. But yeah, so that's the general uh, instructions. And for development, I'm going to pass this paper around. But I wrote down the developer that we're using. It's a mixture called D76. I have a fixer and a fixer remover. Basically, the fixer, what it does is it takes the image that is made by the developer and it permanently attaches it to the film. Yeah? Let's say, theoretically, you're in a dark room for no reason. Could you just, with no light, could you just do it without the bag? Yeah. I mean, this is this emulates what we have in a dark room in our like everyday life. So yeah, obviously, if you had it in a dark room, and if we did have that right now, all of you guys could like do it and load it, and in that scenario, we would have multiple tanks. You guys would be doing the stuff yourself, like you know, more than one person at a time. But yeah, this is basically a mini dark room. All right, so now it's the most intensive process of the whole thing. Like once you get this step done, everything else is smooth sailing. So I'm going to put in my hands into this bag. And 
I like to go up to the elbow because it's kind of a crease and the bag can like kind of sit uh, flush. Okay, the other hand in. And there's another secondary uh, little thing like this to make sure no light gets in. And now I'm uh, ready to go. So I'm gonna just double check with my finger to see if the zipper's closed. And it is. The top flap is not 100% crucial. It just prevents like any other light from getting in. But all right, so now I have your, I don't know which group it is, but I have one 3200 film. And I want everyone to listen closely. So if you can come closer, you can. So. All right, so I'm putting my thumb on the little foam portion that the film goes into. Now. Almost, I'm just prying it open. Normally it pops when the film's out. Okay, well, you heard the little ping? Okay, that was the, okay. Now I'm holding the film in my hand. So I pulled it out of the canister and I'm just, I'm holding the reel, like a mini reel, okay? And I can feel with my finger the little beginning part. Julia, you can come over here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I can feel the little leader that goes inside of the camera. And now I'm gonna use my scissors and very careful not to cut the bag as you're cutting this. But I'm gonna cut off the little leader. Okay. <laughs> and you have to feel with your finger to see if there's any like sprocket from the film. If you looked at the negatives, you see they have little holes. When you load it onto the onto the tank, you don't want to have a hole at the end because it won't hold it properly. All right, I have one film now. Put it down, and this is now. I don't know if you can see that. This is the 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 reel. And where's end of the reel? Okay. So this is, if you see my hand moving, <coughs> that's the portion that you turn. And there's a little bar in here that locks into one of those holes. And as you turn it, it kind of advances the film onto it. All right. So this, now I'm going to hold the film and load it onto the first reel. Oh, it came out. <laughs> Where'd it go? OK. Um, I hear you put it onto the little two little guys. Okay. All right. So now I just have the very very last amount loaded, and I think I think so. All right. So now they're both done. All right. Remember that black piece of plastic I was talking about earlier? Yeah. I'm gonna now put both of the spools that we loaded on that black piece of plastic. I'm gonna put it on the tank, on a, the funnel looking piece of the tank, and I'm gonna put the cap on, and let's get to developing. I have all of the chemical, per roll is 300, so I have, since I have two rolls, I need 600 ml. And I'm gonna use this graduated cylinder, and it's marked off. Just to make it easier for myself, I'm gonna put a little mark on the graduated cylinder, where is that 600? Just the line that says 600. And I'm gonna, you guys can move back a little bit. It's not gonna splash, but. If you get it on you, it's not too dangerous. If you wash your hands, you'll be fine. Did you buy that as it is, or did you have to make that? I, that's a good question. I made this from powder. There's a specific powder and water, like another dilution that you have to do. And this makes one gallon. So I heated up a gallon of water and I individually broke up how much powder there was and I stirred it up at a specific temperature and then poured it all into here. It's a light safe bottle. So and it won't separate? No. I mean, over time it will, but like in a relatively short amount of time it won't. So this is. 600 <coughs> ml of developer and for this film we need it to develop for nine minutes and what's well, what i'm going to do is i'm <coughs> going to do the nine minutes of development i'm going to run <coughs> to miss hold's room or the science lab because now her room is closed dump this out and <coughs> then come like rinse it and then come back and then we'll do the next step we want 120 ml of fixer 
for 400 AVMLs of developer uh, for of water. So this is fixer. Yes. All right. So I need to measure out 120 mLs. I need to add 20 more mLs. <coughs> and this bottle costs $10. Fixer, because this fixer needs a dilution of 2 to 8, which can be reduced to 1 to 4. So every, every 100 mLs, you'll have 20 mLs of fixer, 80 mLs of water. And now this is 120 mLs of fixer. I'll need to add in up until this hits 600. All right, so that's 600 mLs. All right, so we need to have 60 mLs of fixer remover. You can get a headache, you can get nauseous, you could pass out if, you, like, if you're like if you doing something dumb. Like if I were to like spill this, it would be a big, big difficulty to clean up. All right, 50, what should I say, Five, 60 mLs? If you die in real life, this In my cup. Okay, 60 ml, and I'll need to add this to uh, about, what did I say? I'll have 40 ml. So I'm going to go and just spill this out real quick, and this is already the same stuff, so it's not going to be a big deal. Uh, fixer, remover, uh, R. And okay, so so now we're ready to develop this film. And the most important thing when we develop this film is to keep check of time, right? This is the second most crucial step. After you get the film in the tank, you have to process it. So as soon as I start pouring this in, you start the timer, all right? Uh, let me get this ready. And all right. Uh, now. Okay, and now we gotta wait for it to go down. All right, it's down. Now I'm gonna seal the tank by just applying pressure to the edge of the lid and just examine it to make sure it's evenly on the rim. And as my notes say, I have to agitate this for 30 seconds. Water is not really an issue, uh, time is not really an issue, but it's really bad.